Have you ever had anybody say to you, you must have rocks in your head? The next time you hear that, respond back, well, of course I do, and so do you. You see, we all have rocks in our head. These rocks are actually tiny little pebbles. They, they exist between the eardrum and the cochlear canals in a little jelly-filled sack that has lots of little tiny hairs in it sending signals to the brain. Now, what do these rocks do? Well, they exist in a fluid and they're free moving. So if you're moving forward and you suddenly stop, the rocks move forward and start to move those little hairs in front of you, sending a signal to your brain, telling the brain, oh, there's been a sudden stop. You can feel it even with your eyes shut. If you are going up in an elevator and the elevator suddenly stops, those rocks move upward, bumping against hairs, sending a signal to your brain, telling them, oh, we've been moving up and now we've stopped. If you move left, the rocks move left when you stop. So they are a critical part of your balance system. Now, doctors understand the intricacy of this system because there's diseases that affect the signal and the movement of those rocks. They, they start to malfunction when we're older. There's certain bacterial infections which can mess them up. At the point you become very dizzy and very unstable. It's part of the reason older people become unstable in addition to the deterioration of their muscles. You see, how could that have happened by mutational changes in chance, this system developed of the rocks, the hairs, the signal, the interpretation by the brain? It, it couldn't have happened a step at a time. You see, if your brain needed this and it wasn't getting the signal right, or the rocks weren't there, or they didn't move right, we would be constantly dizzy. Our life would be one of stumbling and dizziness instead of steadiness in understanding and balance. Evolution cannot explain systems that need multiple parts that all have to be there in order to function correctly. It's one of the many issues with evolution that can never be explained by slow, step-at-a-time, mutational, accidental changes to DNA. Creation does and can explain the phenomenal design of our bodies. And that design came from the supreme intelligence of Jesus Christ, our Creator.